Susanna labeled this one. I haven't looked at the tweet, but the title Susanna has for this next tweet is Beheading is wrong, but dot 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 dot. Oof. Okay, this could this is probably really bad. Oh, it's removed. Damn it, we missed it. We missed it, guys. This was such a bad take. <laughs> Duh, we missed it. This was such a bad take that it was that it's not there anymore. Damn, what? How bad of a take was this that it's not there anymore? Any screenshots? Ugh, I can't even. I don't know if I can scroll down. So uh, this was titled as "Beheading" by Susanna as "Beheading was is bad, but da 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 da." So it seems like somebody was. Where is this? Ex so this is not the person that was tweeting it. Oh, let's actually. This person was highlighting it. But let's see what the highlight, maybe based on the mis commentary on the highlight, we might know what the tweet was, original tweet was about. Um, so Fred is saying, go F yourself, based on whatever the tweet was. Fred is, and you can say Fred is on our, on our side by having a Charlie Hebdo cartoon in his, uh, on his profile pic. And then Fred is saying, oh, Fred is following us. And before, oh, this is Fred. We know Fred. Uh, in France since 2012, Number of deaths due to Islamic terrorism is 267. Number of deaths due to Islamophobia is zero. Uh, no additional comment needed, right? So, guys, are these numbers accurate? I do not know, but if true, then, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's true based on what I know, but obviously I could be wrong. Um, my understanding is that these numbers are true, but I'm happy to be corrected. Um, I don't know what the original tweet was. If the original tweet was saying that this could lead to deaths of Muslim, that obviously that original tweet was like completely fear mongering, right? Um, because my con when I say I have a concern for what happens to Muslims, I'm talking about discrimination. Like I don't, we don't have any case to show that the far right people. The, I mean, I don't have to, it doesn't have to escalate to death for me to be worried about discrimination against a group of people and their civil rights, obviously, right? Obviously, our priority should be Islamic, ter oh, Islamic, ter ter Islamic, Islamic ter terrorism, I already said that, right? That should be our, in France at least, that should be a higher priority for us uh, than anti-Muslim bigotry, a way higher priority. But that doesn't mean that just because the Islamic terrorism, ter I said it already, I don't know what to say. Guys, give me some keywords to use for this. Uh, given that even though that is a much higher priority for us to be concerned about, that doesn't mean that we don't have to be concerned about anti-Muslim bigotry as well. That doesn't mean that that shouldn't be one of the things that we care about Maybe way down the list, but somewhere on our list. Way down the list, but definitely on our list, okay? So it seemed like the original tweet was kind of suggesting that this would lead to some people dying, and I don't think there's anything to suggest that the Muslims are at risk of that. But if it happens, I'm not saying that it could not happen. I'm just saying that... As of now, based on what has happened, that shouldn't be high on our list compared to Muslims doing the violence, right? Islamic violence, when it comes to violence, the highest concern is Islamic violence. Almost everywhere in the world, right? That's fair to say. I'm being trying to be very careful with my words here. Very, very careful with my words, um, and I think I did a good job, right? When it comes to violence, the highest prior, the, the main thing that we need to be worried about above almost any other ideology by a wide, wide margin is Islamic violence. No other ideology comes even close to being a threat violently compared to the threat that we get from the Islam Islamic doctrine. Not even, not, like the second runner-up doesn't even get close. 
right? Yeah, but but when it comes to promoting enlightenment values, obviously violence is an important thing that we're concerned about, but we have other concerns as well. And that's why we could care about Muslims, just mere discrimination against Muslims, even though violence against them is not a high threat as of right now. Uh, Skev Skevos is saying, not counting state violence, I assume. Yes, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I'm talking about Terry activity. Again, Terry refers to something. I hope you guys are referring. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, actually, when a good point, Skevos. When it comes to violence as a whole, then I would say the highest priority, the highest concern would be the military industrial complex and the profit motive behind that. That would be the uh, yeah. So when it comes to ideologies, okay, Skevos. When it comes to ideologies, uh, dogma, the violence that I'm concerned about the most is Islamic uh, doctrine, is the Islamic dogma. Um, but when it comes to the source of actually violence as a whole, then the highest, the main. But here's the thing: as the military industrial complex is something that. We here at the Isis Republic will never be able to ad even start addressing. So, yeah, who, good luck to whoever is fighting f that fight. Uh, what do actually no? We can by not voting people for vote people like Trump, um, because some of them, as much as as bad as it is, it could get worse for some people. Actually, I don't know. I even, I don't even know. Maybe I I could be like Biden could all of a sudden. Yeah, I have no idea. Actually, I, I, I'll take that back. I don't even know. I don't know there's anything we could do when it comes to the military-industrial complex. Uh, what to do with the true, Mus the, the true Muslim? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, Muslims following Islam more uh, than others, that doesn't make some Muslims more true Muslims than other Muslims, okay? All Muslims are true Muslims. Being Muslim and not Muslim is a binary thing. It's not a spectrum. Okay? But you could be a... All Muslims are true Muslims, but some Muslims follow Islam more literally and more accurately than others. Not following Islam doesn't make you not a Muslim. It makes you a Muslim who is a, not a good Muslim, but still a Muslim. Again, Muslim or not Muslim is a binary thing. It's not a spectrum. I'm not takfiring people as an atheist. And what do, what do they what do you do with people who are following Islam? You start you f uh, start an organization called Atheist Republic, and you write a book about why there's no God, and then you do live streams um, on on a channel called Atheist Republic, and then you start a podcast called Secular Jihadist, um, and you yeah that's what you do. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me see. All right, let's actually see. Yeah, so there's... No, oh, wait. <gasps> guys, we have the screenshots. Guys, guys, we have the screenshots. Oh, this guy agrees with me. Thank you. Guys, if I missed any of your comments, I apologize. The Mad Gacy is saying... Even modern Muslims believe in Quran is literal, yeah, but they don't follow it. Even though they believe Quran is literal, they believe it's the literal word of God, and most of them have never even read it. They're like, oh, this was this is the verbatim word of the creator of the universe. Have you read it? No. Great. Right here. So let's look at the screenshots. The tweet I quoted has been deleted. It's a good thing I kept the screenshots. Oh, good job, Fred. Good job, Fred. Let's look at the screenshots. Part of the issue is that France has the largest Muslim population in Europe who are largely treated very poorly, disrespected, discriminated, and humiliated nearly da daily. A fact of which the French official um, dom is uh, oblivious to, in part due to the Constitution. And then continue. As I said, beheading is wrong. But yeah, you 
try not to ever phrase a sentence like that. Beheading is wrong, but it is a naive. It is naive to assume that there aren't deeper underlying issues. Uh, and back to my earlier point about the religious sensitivities, etc. We have to condemn the fa the act, but surely have to examine the causes as well. Yeah, the cause is Islam. So this guy is trying to basically blame this on something other than Islam. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's why this take is extremely bad, right? Because it's what, and it might seem like what I said earlier might be agreeing to this, right? Because... Muslims, because Muslims are being treated poorly, disrespected, discriminated against, and humiliated nearly daily, a fact of which the French officials are oblivious to. And I said beheading is right. Okay, so the problem is that there are multiple, multiple variables that lead to radicalism, such as the one that we just saw, okay? And I do not deny that part of that is the way Muslims are treated. But the main variable, the main variable that is so obviously responsible for these behavior because the main variable is Islam. Because if you isolate other communities who are poorly treated, disrespected, discriminated against, humiliated nearly daily, anywhere on the planet, we do not get the beheadings. We do not get the violence. We have not seen the level of violence from the Muslim community, from any other group of people who are also treated poorly, disrespected, discriminated against, and humiliated. Again, l l please pay, at pay attention carefully. I'm not saying that these variables, the way Muslims are treated, is not a factor. It is a factor. The reason why I know this is also a factor is because Muslims for example, in Canada and United States are less likely to behave like this than Muslims in France or United Kingdom because they feel as part of a society more than Muslims in United Kingdom and France. But I also know Muslims, are, Islam is definitely the biggest factor because the sheer astronomical diff gap between this behavior that we see from Muslim community than any, any other community. Like, again, like, if, if you just heard this news without hearing the guy said Allah Akbar, the guy, like, was it, like, you didn't even know it was Muhammad Khartoum, right? It's just like, oh, the, 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 the professor showed something offensive, and then he was beheaded. I mean, what would you guess the ideology behind that was? I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys would have guessed the same thing I would have guessed. I mean, we could have been wrong, but more likely we wouldn't have been wrong, right? So I think what people don't, people think in black and white. People think binary, right? I mean, people think that, Oh, this is, it's Islam and nothing else. It's Islam, right? And people are like, nope, it's a discrimination and how they're humiliated and disrespected and nothing else, right? And then even people who think like it's both, the black, even the people who are nuanced enough to think like it's both, they, then they think like, oh, it's both, then it's 50-50. It cannot be 50-50. If it was 50-50, then we would have seen more of this behavior from other communities who are disrespected and poorly discriminated and poorly treated. But we, we don't. 
So based on what I'm saying, based on the fact that I know that Muslims who are not discriminated against uh, or not segregated are less likely to do this, but also the fact that this mostly comes from Muslim communities, my conclusion, and this is a hypothesis, not a theory, is that it's mostly Islam, but it cannot be only Islam. That's my, uh, that's my conclusion. It's mostly because of Islam, but if it was just Islam, this wouldn't happen. What do you guys think? That's my take. Uh, Black Angel saying, and this is why you have to repeat it over and over again that Islam is the cause because the mainstream media doesn't do it and Muslims, as you see, deny that Islam is the damn cause. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I like, okay, so, you know, I don't go back to the basics sometimes, but I like you guys going back to the basics because a lot of people here are new. Is it is it a fundamental fault uh, line in free societies like France that Islamists use their own free speech against them to cause separ uh, separatism? Separatism? Ah, I can't say that. Uh, through preaching? No, no, no. If you want to stop people from preaching, you're going to create a bigger monster than the one that you're defeating. You're going to, yeah. Then, then you are. Then you're actually creating a fascist government if you try to remove the free speech. You're like, oh, let's let's fight fascism by creating our own fascism. Uh, Sajib is saying, what do you, what to do with the more accurate Muslim? Oh, I already responded. Um, I'll I'm that do what I'm, you know. I, my answer was my activism. What to do with the people with radical, you know, with fighting? Do you're basically asking me how to fight dogma. Well, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> That's what I did, right? Maybe you could support me by commenting. Oh, wait, wait, actually, you know what? You're a member on our YouTube channel, so that do that. Thank you so much. You are already contributing to the fa uh, to our fight against dogma. So you're a you're a member on our YouTube channel, so th that's what you do. If you don't want to do it yourself, you can support me doing it. Deborah saying, yes, we can't stop repeating it. Okay, okay, you guys can help me repeat it. But anybody, anybody agrees with my take that it's that the cause is mostly Islam, but it, ne it needs other factors as well for it to be. Is, do you guys agree with my take on that? Mir Ali saying, when Islam says Muhammad came with a message for the entire humanity, then every human has the right to criticize it if they don't agree with it. Uh, yep, thanks. And sorry for spamming. Yeah, no worries. Don't spam. We, our mods are here. But thank you. Yep, I agree with that. That's a pretty basic take, which I agree with. Um, the cause is the failure to teach enlightened values to the marginalized populations that's taking a refuge in a violent religion. Yep, that too. That's it too. Uh, Skev Skevos is saying it's a procure. I can I, I, That's a tongue a tongue twister for me. <sighs> there is a certain quirk of history that Fran uh, that France, the most aggressively secular country in Europe, has received the most immigration from Islamic majority countries. Because I think France secularism was armed very well against Christianity, and it wasn't ready for Islam. And this teaches us that even though religions are all equally wrong, they're not, they don't behave the same way. So when you raise, when you, in, just because you made a strong defense system against one form of dogma, that doesn't mean you're equipped against all of them. France managed to defeat Christianity as any source of authority. And they thought like, hey, when you're secular, you're secular, right? But nope, nope. This is why France needs to reevaluate in uh, the ways it defends its secularism to be able to resist not just Christianity, but also Islam. The Mad Gate Theist is saying, the teacher let the Muslim students leave the room in order to not offend them. I'm so tired of walking on eggshells for Islam, Islamic fragility. That may be wrong, but it's tiresome. I don't, I don't know. I like that. I like that move. I think people shouldn't be forced to content that they don't like. 
That's why I recently, every time I desecrate the Quran, I do a trigger warning. I think freedom of, um, I think people should be able to control the content that they're exposed to. They shouldn't, I think, I think the people should, just because people are offended, that doesn't mean the, uh, the content creator has to uh, censor the content that he or she is creating. But the content consumer should be given more control over the content that they're exposed to. So the filter shouldn't be at the content creation um, side, content creator side. People shouldn't be demanding the content creator to adjust to the sensitivities of the people. The people should be given the tools to see what they see, want to see and not see what they don't want to see. And that's why every time I desecrate the Quran, I tell, I tell Muslims um, to, you know, look away if they don't like. Oh, look at this idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. John is saying, Islam has nothing to do with any of this. Stop your Islamophobic rant. And, guys, this is why we have to keep doing what they're doing because of idiots like John. 